first today let's find the problem regarding the composition of forces okay so this problem is a very what is it for for such is it will be a good problem to learn how the composition of forces work because it is little bit So, if you study this problem, if you can crack the concept of this problem, then you can ask other problems. Okay. So, the question is: a system of forces acting on a body, resting on an inclined plane, as shown in the figure, determine the resultant if theta is sixty. Uh, w is a thousand newton, then uh, vertical a thousand newton, which is vertically downward. Then n equal to five hundred newton, acting normal to the plane, and f acting f equal to hundred newton, acting down to the plane, and t equal to one twenty newton, acting parallel to the plane. Okay. And in the figure itself, it is given like x-axis, like x and y as this. So this will be your positive and uh, positive x-axis and y-axis. So the components which is um, we usually usually x and y like this, but here it is inclined x and y. Okay, for this problem. Hmm? So we have to take this, not this. Okay. If nothing is given, then your x and y will be this. Okay. Now, then the negative x-axis will be opposite of positive and opposite of y. Okay. So in this problem, um, is given m is there, f is there, the t is there, and w is there. Okay. So All the, all the, but we have to find out the resultant force. Okay, so let me first take the W force. Okay, now if this is theta, then this will be what? This will be ninety minus theta. Okay, so this is sixty. Then this will be what thirty. Okay, now I will just split up W component for you. So, so there is a inclined plane like this. And there. The weight is acting. Let me take the picture. So one normal force. So one n is acting like this. Okay. And then force F. Is acting like this. Then T. Then T is acting like this. Then W. So then W is. Acting like I already told you that W will be what straight line to always sorry W will be always acting straight. There you go. So W.
So W is acting like this. So W is this, T is this, N is this, and this is F. Okay. And it is given as theta and this is also given as theta. theta and this is your x-axis and this is your y-axis okay now we will we will check what is the given data theta is 60 okay then w is 1000 now n is n the force n the normal forces which is acting upwards is let me check again 500 newton 500 newton then force f the force f sorry f was the 500 newton and t f and this force T is 1200 Newton. Okay. Now we can solve. We have the given data. Now we, are, we can solve. Okay. First, you consider the W. Okay. If this is theta and theta is 60, then you know this angle will be what? Theta minus. You know that this angle is angle. This will be. This will be 30 degrees. Okay. Now we can consider the force W is acting downwards. Okay. So I already told that it is like it is alternating like this. So its x component, which will be the parallel to this x component, will be in this direction. Okay. And its y component will be in this direction, which is also will be negative towards the negative y. Okay. Okay. And this angle is 60. So this angle is 60. We know it is acting downward and this is acting towards the negative x. So this component will be w. This is theta, so it will be W sorry cos theta. Okay, and this will be W sine theta. Okay. We can substitute thousand in place of W, but now I'm just using W only. Okay. Now the force T. Okay, so uh, first component W is being uh, divided into its components in, along x and y direction. Okay. Now force T, but T is along the x axis. So there is no need to resolve the uh, resolve the force because it is along the x only. There is no component along the y. So there is no need to resolve T. So T is also there. Now T. Now look into the component n. n is also along the y direction. Okay, so there won't be any x component. Okay, so n also is there. Now the force f, which is along, along which is parallel to the what x axis. Okay, so there won't be any along the y axis. So we know all the forces. Now we have to uh, we have to sum up the fx forces. Okay. Once again, remember that x is positive towards this direction. Okay. In this problem, okay. Usually take um, x and y as this. Okay. But in this problem, it is given that x should be this and y should be this. Okay, that's why we are taking 
That's why we are taking this direction, okay? Otherwise, we can take any direction. We usually go for this direction, okay? Now, we have to find out the fx, okay? fx, so for w component, the x is going towards negative x axis, okay? So, negative w what sin theta negative w sin theta because sin theta w sin theta is going towards the negative okay so negative w sin theta is the one component then we can go and put n down now any component to the left side okay towards the x-axis okay now Take f. F is going to this direction. Okay, so it is. It is also. So we can get minus what minus f. Okay, but t is going now. Take the t. T puts x. So plus x. So our f x is minus w and theta minus f plus t. Now we can substitute the values, okay? So minus thousand sine sixty minus hundred plus and two hundred. Okay, so we get the answer. Now we can calculate the f y component. Okay? So, um, as we take the W component, which is going downwards, so it, it will also be negative. So, negative W cos theta. Okay. Now, next component is N. Uh, N is going upwards. Okay. Like this. So, N will be positive. So, so plus n okay then f f is acting along the line so the, it, uh, there won't be any there won't be any positive and there won't be any y component t is also par parallel to or along the x so there won't be any so there's only two y commands so we can substitute thousand cos theta plus N, N is acting upward, so it is positive to N is 500. And theta is, so theta we can substitute as 6. So we get the Fx and Fy by solving. And if we get Fx and Fy, we can find out the result as root of sigma Fx square plus root of sigma y square. Okay. Then, then we can find out alpha also. Alpha will be tan inverse sigma fy by sigma fx. Okay. Okay. But then if I am not in the parayam, we probably can put it here. You probably can say that in the air system, I love problems. Yeah. We probably can so they can mean area. We have a problem with the x and y direction. But the other thing is that we have a convention that we have to use in x and y. Neither x in your two, y in your two. Okay, you direction the name you say. She would have done it under x in your two and y in your two. Father, then follow in. Upon the other post diagram, you know, post diagram of the genus section. What is the section in the other country? First item is under the even in other directly, 
അപ്പൊ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ഫോഴ്സ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ മുകളിലേക്ക് ഒരു ഫോഴ്സ് പോകുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇതിന്റെ ആക്സസ് ആണെങ്കിൽ ഒരിക്കൽ ഇത് ഇങ്ങോട്ടും ഇത് ഇങ്ങനെയും പോകില്ല ഓക്കെ ഈ കമ്പോണന്റ് അത് എപ്പോഴും അങ്ങോട്ട് തന്നെ പോകും ഇങ്ങനെ പോകും അപ്പൊ ഇങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങനെ വരുത്തുള്ളൂ പോകില്ല ഇത് ഇങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങനെ പോകത്തുള്ളൂ ഇങ്ങനെ അങ്ങനെ പോകുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരിക്കലും അതിന്റെ കമ്പോണൻസ് പോകില്ല ഇങ്ങനെ പോകില്ല ഇങ്ങനെ സോൾവ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ എപ്പോഴും എക്സും വൈ ഡയറക്ഷനിൽ തന്നെ സോൾവ് ചെയ്യുന്നു സോറി ഇപ്പൊ സോൾവ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ പിന്നെ പിന്നെ ഈ കേസ് വരുമ്പോൾ എന്നും ടിക്കും എഫിനും ഒന്നും കമ്പോണൻസ് ഇല്ല കാരണം അതെല്ലാം ആക്സിന് എലോങ് ആയിട്ട് അപ്പൊ എലോങ് ആയിട്ട് വരുമ്പോൾ കമ്പോണൻസ് ഒന്നും വരില്ല അതുകൊണ്ടൊക്കെ പ്രോബ്ലം ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാം ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു